Okay, everyone, another teardown. This is a Samsung um, speaker system. This is just the base or you know, subwoofer component, PS-WD550. Uh, there are no inputs in and out of this thing. You can see it's just this big base driver right here and uh, an air inlet here. There's the cone. And I thought maybe there's some way I can get, uh, you know, direct patch into this thing, you know, like an audio in. Uh, but honestly, I have no use for this. It's just taking up space and I have enough other speakers. So I thought maybe for your interest, we'll just have a look at what's inside of this. And uh, that's it. And it's uh, fabricated in 2011-03, it says right here. Uh, I can't really tell how to get in this thing. There are probably some screws over here that is not an audio port that little dot over there the hole um at least i would think so if we uh open this up we should be able to find a speaker under here but not easy to get in yeah this corner barely opens up so i'm going to pause the video again and we're going to try to open this uh, wish me luck. Hopefully it won't be as difficult as that last video with the CPAP machine. Okay, folks. So it did take a little bit of percussive motivation, as you would like to call it, to uh, get this Samsung speaker to spill the beans. This one is just a, a air flow cone. Um, that's a big port there. I'll show you what the speaker looks like. This is just popping out like this. You can see there's holes here, and there's some kind of uh, plugs that were glued in. They pushed in and then glued. You can still see some of the glue on the thing. So you do have to basically rip this off. And there is the speaker, the driver, right there. I'll try to get more of that accessible there. I see there's some screws, so we can open that up later. On the other side, we have exactly the same thing. This thing needed to get pried open. The cabinet also has these holes in it, and this was attached there. So we should be able to uh, untouch the board here. That's all the electronics. Let's first start off with the speaker. Okay. And see if we can open this up. Okay, here we go. I should really get a better screwdriver than this, but that's all I have at the moment. Okay, open it up. One more here. And one more here. I mean, I could potentially just drive the speaker directly with an amp. Uh, so yeah, I could maybe save the cabinet and the speaker, but I don't really want to. I don't have a need for this thing at all, but there it is. Nice big fat magnet on this guy. Okay. Yeah, there is a speaker. Okay. And it's quite heavy. You can see on the, uh, the back there. War ohm. I can't really make out much more there. But that's the speaker, quite a heavy one. I'll put that there. For now, the rest of the cabinet is just there to reflect sound inside. And then this cable just comes out to here. Okay. So let's put that aside. And now here's the electronics. I can open this up and have a look and see what's in here. So there's uh, obviously some power going in. And I'm going to get another, bear with me a second, because that screwdriver is not good enough for this job. So I'm going to run and get another screwdriver. Hopefully you can still hear me okay, because I've got uh, audio going through to the, uh, to the iPod headphones. So you should be able to hear me no matter where I go. I go here. All right. So here. 
Now I'm imagining these are connected to somehow the proprietary system to the main speaker system. Uh, either that or it's using some kind of Bluetooth. I don't think so. Probably some Samsung specific thing. Uh, but I didn't find any way to connect these directly to Bluetooth source. So I don't think it's possible. Uh, there we go. Let's unplug the speaker here and the power. Now, I, I haven't had this plugged in for a long time, so. Okay. So there is the board. Okay. I have a huge cap here. I can, uh, I'll just see if we can uh, remove the board from this backing here. Remember, I haven't had this plugged in for many, many, many months, perhaps longer. And so I do not believe there's any kind of charge left on that cap. But we may as well figure this out just in case. It looks like there's some kind of an antenna here. Uh, it's a Samsung Wisp 30S. So again, I don't think that's a Bluetooth. It's some kind of proprietary audio, um, digital audio transmission uh, board for uh, to send information back and forth to the speakers. I'll have a look. Maybe I'll, I'll add it to my comments uh, or to the video later once I research it. Okay, so there's the board. And here, just take this thing off here. Sorry, there. Okay, so the big audio cap. Okay, so as I said, there's nothing on here. You can see I'm shorting out the big cap. It's completely dead. Okay. So transformer, large cap, some big toroids here, huge heat sink uh, on these power drivers, I guess here. Uh, there's another large heat sink on that guy there. Let's see what's under. I don't know what's in here. There we go. Okay, interesting. Only two of these are populated. The other two are empty. What in the world is that? And why did it need such a huge heat sink? You can see the imprints only on one half. That's the uh, the heat sink uh, material. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, what does it say there? Pulses. PS9831, DOP60409C. And these large packages here, some kind of power components. That's why they have heat sinks on them. And that's it. I mean, there's not really much else here. Uh, that These are a couple of chips on the back here. One says, I don't know what it says there. IRS20925, I guess, right here. And this other one. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's have a look at this guy here. We'll remove it from this board, from this. Uh, that's interesting. They, they attached it to this riser sort of this ex extra little section here maybe in order to get it away from the rest of the board i don't know why they do that it also looks like it has some kind of a heat sinky really in there but it's not conductive it's just plastic so why would they have this this is just plastic it wouldn't it wouldn't transmit any heat at all all right so here let's zoom in with 30s and there's a chip there i can't really make it out maybe later in the video i can have a look it says uh smsc i believe 
Okay, and now what's underneath this package? Let's have a look. Might be able to open this up. Or not. Okay, give me a second. I'm having a hard hard time doing this with one hand. I'm sitting down like this. What's in here? Oh my. Okay, so destructive teardown time. Is there anything under there? Other than some little parts, there looks like there's a big chip here because there's a a pad on the, underneath there that looks like it's for uh, heat transfer. Okay, here we go. Aha, that's the chip there. Okay. Uh, what does it say on it? Can we focus? SMSC and I can't really tell what it is I'm gonna I'll look at the video after and we'll type in what it is as a an overlay but that's one of the chips actually that's the wrong one I'm looking at this one here we go that's what I wanted to see the one that's uh that was under the can what does it say there? Air or something? Air. Air own. I don't know. What does it say? Let me uh, see if I can uh, focus in on this thing. Give me a moment. Uh, there. Air O something. Aero ha. Alright, anyway, we'll look at that later and try to figure out what that is. So, but that's it. So, the Samsung speaker, large board to drive the speaker, something that receives the sound, I'm assuming. Uh, this, this guy here, the Wisp circuit. Uh, this takes the information, sends it through the board, amplifies it, processes it with this nice big chip here, the pulses you can see there. Uh, lots of other components here, and then it drives it off to essentially the speaker ports, which are right here. And that's it. So that's what's inside. A Samsung subwoofer, model number PSWD550. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and catch you next time. Bye for now.